So welcome students. So in this question, you given that you have a standard ellipse, that is, uh, let us let us assume that it has x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to one, and the tangent at any point p of this ellipse meets the tangents at the vertex at v and v dash, and s and s dash are the foci of this ellipse. And you given four options. You are asked to check which of those are. Right. The first two options deal with the product of a v and a dash v dash. So, what's the product of this length and this length? And the third option deals with the angle v s v dash v s v dash. So, deals with this angle. So, if you join this, if you join v with s, so you are asked to see whether this angle is ninety degrees or not. And fourth option. Deals with the cyclic properties of V S S dash V. Now, how do we do this? So, let us first start with mathematical formulation. So, if you have to direct convert this into a mathematical formulation, so what do, what is the thing that we need to assume? So, where do we start? So, let us start with the point being a point corresponding to an eccentric angle theta. So, let us assume that a point P on this ellipse B. A cos theta, comma b sin theta. So let us assume this. Now we know the equation of tangent to this ellipse at this point. So at this point, what is the equation of tangent? So x cos theta by a plus y sin theta by b is equal to one. So this is the equation of the line v v dash. Now what are the tangents at the vertices? We know that the vertices are a comma zero. And minus a comma zero, so the first line is x is equal to a, and the second line is x is equal to minus a. So if you want to find the point v, if you want to find the point v, we already know that the x coordinate will be equal to a. The x coordinate will be equal to a. What is the y coordinate? What is the y coordinate? So if you put x is equal to a, so the y coordinate is equal to b by sine theta into one minus cos theta. So this is the y corresponding to point V, and similarly, what is the corresponding coordinates of V dash? We know that the x coordinate of V dash be equal to minus a. So the x coordinate of V dash is minus a. So if you put x is equal to minus a in this, so corresponding to V dash y is equal to. So if you have minus, so when it goes onto that side, it becomes one plus cos theta. So one plus cos theta into b by sin theta. So these are the y coordinates of v and v dash. Now, what is the distance a v? Because the x coordinates are same, this distance is nothing but the y coordinate, and this distance is nothing but the y coordinate of v dash. Now, what is a v into a dash v dash? Is nothing but the product of this y coordinate into this y coordinate. That is b square by sine square theta b square by sine square theta into One plus cos theta into one minus cos theta is one minus cos square theta. So we know that one minus cos square theta is sine square theta. So this and this gets cancelled. So is equal to b square. So a v and a v dash will always have the product equal to b square. So option A is right. So obviously option B is wrong. Now let's go to third option. So what is This angle. So you are asked to check whether this angle is ninety degrees or not. So now, how do we check whether this angle is ninety degrees? So now, let us find the uh, slope of this line and the slope of this line, and let us see whether m one into m two is minus one or not. So, what is the slope of S V? The slope of S V is nothing but. So, what are the coordinates of S? A E comma zero, and the coordinates of V E are A and B by sine theta into one minus cos theta. So now, what is the slope of this? Y two minus y one by x two minus x one. That is, B by sine theta into one minus cos theta divided by A times one minus e. A times one minus e. So what is the slope of S V dash? What is the slope of S V dash? Here also the y coordinate is B. By sine theta into one plus cos theta. So what is y two minus y one by x two minus x one? That is 
b by sin theta into 1 plus cos theta 1 plus cos theta divided by divided by minus a minus a so that is minus of a times 1 plus e now what is the product of these two slopes so slope of sv into slope of sv dash is equal to so if you multiply this you get b square by a square sin square theta so minus b square by a square sin square theta 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta is 1 minus cos square theta divided by 1 plus e into 1 minus e is 1 minus e square so sin square theta cos square theta sin square theta and 1 minus cos square theta gets cancelled and we know that a square into 1 minus e square is nothing but b square so these two and these gets cancelled is equal to minus 1 so slope of sv into slope of sv dash is equal to minus 1 hence this angle is equal to 90 degrees which is true and this angle is equal to 90 degrees next the fourth option is you have to check whether v v dash s s dash are cyclic so now i won't be deriving this in a normal way so what the property that i use is so we have already proved that v s v dash is 90 degrees so similarly if you do the similar derivation you can also prove that v s dash v dash is also 90 degrees you can do a similar derivation and see so this is equal to 90 this is equal to 90 now you have a theorem in 10th class which says that if you have a line segment you have a line segment and if you have two points you have two points on the same side of this line segment such that this angle is same as this angle if these two angles are same then all these points lie on a sector that means these four points become cyclic so if you have a line segment v v dash s and s dash are points on the same side of this line such that this angle as well as this angle both the angles are 90 degrees hence these four points are con cyclic true so option d is also right so you have a, C, D are the right options for this question. Thank you.